Hugo, if you'd go ahead. Okay. When you're ready. Yes, sir. Lord, we take time during the mid of, of this week just to draw strength, spiritual grace from heaven's storehouse. We invite your presence to be with us. Uh, to enlighten our minds as we study your word. Our source of strength is in you, and we are especially mindful at this time as we give praise and thanks to you for past mercies. Mm -hmm. Think of our graduates, and we thank you so much, Lord, <coughs> for the good success that they've enjoyed, for the ambitions that they have, May it be to your name's honor and glory. Commit into your hand the high school graduates as well as our college graduates. Yes. Pray that you continue to guide and direct in their lives. Mm -hmm. <coughs> thanks to you for the carry safe return from their trip of uh, the West. Mm -hmm. They can continue to minister here in the Apopka Church. Continue to bless them with quickness of mind and dedicated spirit. May they see the fruit of their labor and be well satisfied. Amen. We pray, Lord, that you would send your Holy Spirit in a very special way to be with Leonard, mm -hmm. members of uh, Tracy's family, mm -hmm. to bring necessary comfort to them at this time of grief and loss. Mm -hmm. uh, we treasure Grace's contribution to our church and we'll miss her. Mm -hmm. We pray to Lord that you'll give grace and support, additional strength to Josias Maya as she seeks to carry out the responsibilities that have been laid upon her, mm -hmm. both in her professional life as well as in the church responsibilities that have been laid upon her. May she feel the nearness of your presence and be strengthened thereby. Amen. We pray to Lord for Becky O'Phil, that you'll be to her a comfort at this time. You may indeed intervene in her life in a remarkable fashion, in a uh, surprising manner. Mm that you'd give her yet many years, Amen. health, Amen. strength, and fulfillment. Yes. We commit into your hand, Lord, the music ministry, the leadership, they have a tremendous responsibility. Yes, Lord. They may be so dedicated to you that they may be hid behind the cross, even as they seek to uplift your name. Amen. Pray, Lord, that uh, in our midst, we might have a sense of uh, the nearness of your coming and of our great mission to the Apopka community. Uh, lest it be uh, relegated to our just personal satisfaction rather than a ministry. We're mindful at this time, Lord, of Eugene, that you'll be very close to him and that you would spare him from undue suffering. And that in due time, you would uh, cause him to lay and be at rest, awaiting the life giver. With Kirk's brother-in-law, thank you, Lord, for the improvement and progress that he's enjoying. May he be drawn closer to you as time progresses. May he give praise and thanks to you. Pray to Lord that you'll be with those who are responsible for selecting the associate pastor for the Apopka Church. Mm -hmm. Heavy responsibility, mm -hmm. Lord. And, uh, mm -hmm. we are uh, appreciative of the work that has been done thus far, that you will continue to be with the process. Mm -hmm. Put into your hand the 
lands and the workers and the children will be engaged in the vacation Bible school, that not only the children will be blessed and the workers be blessed, but the parents of the children will be blessed and be drawn to have a closer walk with Jesus Christ. Precious Father, hear our prayer now, attend unto our cry, and grant to us those things you see we stand in need of, and yet fail of asking you, because we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I have a question. I don't know how many of you would like to uh, answer the question, but at least think about it. If uh, you were take a, to take a flashlight and look under the beds in your house, <laughs> What do you think you might find? <laughs> and, and another thought that goes along with that, do we ever have enough storage room in our houses? <laughs> Anybody want to share what you might see? <laughs> Probably dust. 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 <laughs> dust. Wedding, at least one wedding present. We're wedding present. <laughs> I can tell you under under a couple of our beds there are pictures. We don't have enough wall space for all the pictures we've accumulated over mm, so many years. Won't say how many. We can't get rid of them, but they're there, hiding away under the bed. <laughs> uh, we're going to be looking at. the continuation of Luke 8, and you might get your Bibles. We're we'll to look at Luke 8, beginning with the 16th verse and going on to the 18th verse. Not very many verses, but very important verses. And who would like to read those verses for us tonight? Luke 8. 8. 16 to 18. Okay. This is the King James Version. And it says, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covered it with a vessel, or put it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Take heed therefore how ye hear, for whosoever hath to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not from him shall be taken, even that which he seemeth to have. Hmm. What do you think about that? That's a real riddle. That's a riddle. It is. <laughs> what do you think about that riddle? <laughs> what is it really meaning there? You light a candle. Mm -hmm. You don't put it under the mm -hmm. bed. You don't put it under a vessel. Mm -hmm. You have it to light the way. To light the room. Yes. Now, what good is it? What good does it do if it's hidden? I mean, right. <laughs> how many of you uh, have had lost power during some of the hurricanes I in think the past few have. years? <laughs> now we don't. We, we, have. <laughs> we do have candles, but most of us have flashlights. Yes. Uh, we have some flashlights that uh, hold their they, they are battery charged and they hold their charge for a real long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we have two or three of those and we were able to operate pretty well, be able to see where we were going and didn't have a real big problem. Except when I wanted to microwave something and then... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that didn't work too well. That didn't work. 
So this is a parable about light. Yes. It seems to me that Jesus talked a lot about light. Mm -hmm. um, this one is, is he talking lighting? about lighting a candle and putting it on a candle stick holder or a, a, a like a chandelier. Can you think of other lights that were similarly lit? In the, in the temple. In the temple, yes. How many candles were on that candlestick? Seven. How many are on a menorah? I don't remember. Eight. Seven, Eight. wasn't that? I believe it was seven. Seven, yeah. Seven. Yes. Seven. Three on each side and one in the middle. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, as you looked at that, what it says there, um, we, we think about the light of the world, the light that Christ sheds upon us. Uh, we have been going through uh, Daniel recently in our readings. And the light that was given to Daniel, I think, was a special kind of light. Um, sometimes he didn't understand. But what happened to enlighten him? Do you remember what happened when he got to a point? He was writing, 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 but he didn't understand what he was writing. Yes. What happened? God, actually, in, in Daniel 8 and 9, God sent an angel, I believe it was Gabriel, Gabriel. to give him yeah. understanding. Mm -hmm. So God helped him. He sent somebody to help him understand. Mm -hmm. And I think there's some, some places where somebody was praying and Gabriel was sent and arrived before they were finished praying. Yeah. I'm not sure that was Daniel, but I remember reading that. Mm -hmm. So there are angels there in heaven that are ready mm -hmm. to come and enlighten us. You know, there are many things uh, in the Bible we have some difficulty with, we might not understand completely, but if we dwell on them and we let the power of the Spirit come in, yes. we, can, we can understand it better. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'd, I'd like for someone to look at Luke 11 and read 33 to 36. This is sort of a little different twist that, uh, look, that Luke puts on something that's very similar to this. Luke 11, 33 to 36. Anybody have that? Mm -hmm. Okay. No one lights a lamp and puts it in a place where it will be hidden or under a bowl. Instead, he puts it on a stand so that those who come in may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are good, your whole body also is full of light. But when they are bad, your body also is full of darkness. See, see to it then that the light within you it's not darkness. Therefore, if your whole body is full of light and no part of it is dark, it will be completely lighted as when the light of a lamp shines on you. Hmm. I know, Betty, you are experiencing uh, an eye that's not quite working correctly. And uh, Connie has had some surgery recently. And I understand, Lou, that... Uh, She's able to read now, yeah. whereas she, she had lost that. Yeah. Did anybody else have an experience where maybe you lost the sight for some period of time from uh, one eye or two eyes? Anybody experienced anything like that? Hmm. Nobody had that experience? Uh, mm -hmm. Barbara, you had a, an experience similar to that, didn't you, when your retina was detached oh, right it's been so long i don't remember exactly 
not being able to see, but I, I, I do remember that, yes, it took a while for the sight to come back in that eye. Mm. De detached retina. Yeah. Had, had to have surgery to uh, reattach it. Mm. Buckle on. I've, I've never lost the, the sight in both eyes for any period of time, but I did have a problem. <laughs> Uh, some of us, when I was about, oh, I probably was nine, uh, we were playing around some tall weeds and the leaves on those weeds are, were serrated and uh, we were jumping around and one of them <coughs> hit my left eye and scraped it and it, it was impossible for me to leave both of my eyes open it was so painful i remember going to the doctor and he put some things to dead in a little bit but he said the best thing is to put a bandage over my eye and uh. then the other eye will start working better and i think it was about a week and a half to two weeks i don't ever want to have that happen again <laughs> it was really something to they have a problem. Your eyes, what, is, what does it say in the Bible? The eyes are the... The light. Oh, yeah. The lamp of your... The lamp of the body. The body. lamp of the body. Yeah. Um, so the light, and we were thinking about uh, some songs. This little light of mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wasn't there some others, Carol, that we were thinking about? Thy word is a lamp unto thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Yeah, we know that one. Light unto yes. my... <coughs> Anybody ever been in a cave, like Mammoth <laughs> Cave or Carlsbad Cavern or some of the other caves? Yeah, and they switch off the light. <laughs> yeah, and they tell you if if you have uh, panic attacks in the dark. Uh, you better not go on that particular tour yeah. because it is so black and so dark. No light at all penetrates. Put your hand right up in front of your face. You can't see a thing. Oh. And that they leave it on long enough that you begin to think, uh, where's the light switch? <laughs> yeah. You can almost so, feel, the, feel the darkness. Yeah. Light is important. Yeah. Very important. So putting that lamp on a lampstand will shed the light further than if you just have it on a table. Yes. It's gonna be up, it's gonna shed all light everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. If someone will also look at Matthew 5, this is in the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 14 to 16, whoever has that, Please read Matthew 5, 14 to 16. New Living Translation reads, You are the light of the world, mm -hmm. like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Mm -hmm. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. Mm -hmm. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly father. Let your light so shine so that everyone can see. Uh, do any of you, when you drive by our new church, get the feeling that it's because the road is down here and it's up here, a feeling of grandeur seeing that up there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if any of you uh, have, I might have mentioned it, I'm not sure, that uh, Scott Shelton was there uh, doing a few things one day, shortly after we opened and had our first services and all. And uh, a lady with three children was there and uh, motioned to him. And uh, so Scott went out and uh, began to talk with her. And she was asking questions about the church. And, uh, she had seen the church and she was interested in the church. And uh, so Scott gave her a quick Bible study right there. Uh, she was a Christian scientist. Mm. 
We had three children from teenage down to, I'm not sure the youngest one must be three or four, maybe five. She has been coming to church every week since then. Wow. Amen. Just because she saw the church and wanted to find out more about it. But we have to be ready to shine see that light shining from our little Apopka church right there. Amen. Yes. It's on a hill, and, like you say, with the with the road down below. You know, mm -hmm. the church is actually on a hill. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think Lou had his hand up. Yes. Yeah, I was just going to mention that there's also another side to this uh, whole issue about light. As we know, light dispels darkness. But I noticed the first passage that we read in Luke chapter 8, verse 17 says, For there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed, and nothing concealed that will not be known or brought into the open. Therefore, consider carefully how you listen. Uh, in other words, some people read that and say, uh oh, you know, it could really cause some people to really, ooh, sometimes somebody's going to discover me. Somebody's going to find out what I'm really like. <laughs> They're going to see all the horrible things that I've really done or thought, even thought. <laughs> That can be kind of here, you know, kind of a, a, a scary thing for some. Nothing that you have, that is, everything's going to be brought onto the light. It will all be brought onto the light, and people will be able to see. I'm not sure that's exactly what it means, but God obviously sees it all. And there are sometimes things that we do in the darkness that are that are exposed, so that others do see it. You know. Thank you, Lou. I was hoping somebody would pick up on that. I don't want to hog all the things and so so that's absolutely right um sometimes we don't think about that too much and when we really think about it jesus reads our minds so even our thoughts are the light is shed on our thoughts so it it behooves us to be thinking on the things that have to do with soul salvation, spreading the gospel, mm -hmm. learning more about what Jesus would have us be, what he, Jesus would have us do. Absolutely, Lou, very good. Anything else before we move on? So Jesus can... Um read our thoughts but the devil cannot read our thoughts mm. is that correct he can yeah. he can read our facial uh motions our body language body language but he can't read your thoughts but he also reads where your feet take you <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah that's true <laughs> I think it's interesting that um, one of the passages that we read it, it mentions that we we are supposed to be lights. Mm -hmm. um, it's talking yeah. about dispelling darkness and so forth. But Jesus told us mm -hmm. that we should be the light of the world. Amen. Amen. We think of Jesus as being the light of the world, mm -hmm. but uh, we're supposed to follow His example and also be lights. You know, Amen. that's a good thought. That's a good thought. What I remembered about that some years ago when I studied this passage, I remember that um, that we are like, we are moons, little moons. Where does the moon get its light from? My bears. Jack? <laughs> Where does the moon get its light from? From the sun. sun. Reflection sun. from the sun. So yeah. we are not suns. We are not. Jesus is the sun, right? We are little moons. We're that's reflecting. Light, 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 light. The light. Yeah. He's Jesus. the sun, and we're like the moons. <laughs> yeah. So we're little moons. We're little moons. N S U N. Yes, yes, yes. Reflecting the light from the sun, and if we're not reflecting the light from the sun, we're not, we're not really not very good moons, are we? That's right. Yeah. Um, I, I was just gonna ask just before Sister Carl mentioned about us being the light. Um, what are some of the practical ways that we bear this light. Mm. 
to the world? That's a great question. What are of what are some of the everyday things that cause us or, or helps us to bear this light to the world? Okay, folks, put on your thinking caps. We've been challenged. What do you think? What are some practical ways that uh, yeah. can be the light? I think others read us whether it's a good light or a bad light. And so in, in when it says things will be hidden that we think we're hidden, but, uh, but they will be brought to light. It, it just is a reminder that we need to be sincere in what we do. And it says um, the, the one in Mark that talks about the uh, lamp and a bowl, it says that what, what we, how we judge others is how, is, is how God is going to judge us. So it's, it's a positive and it's, and it's a warning too, that people read us no matter what. And, and it depends on how they read us, if how we are, either for the good or for the bad. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're lights exactly. whether we want to be or not. We are That's lights. True. We are light, you know. And you know, Jack, you mentioned <clears throat> Matthew 5, uh, where he says, you are the light of the world. A, mm -hmm. city, hill on, on a, a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Uh, neither mm -hmm. do people light a lamp and so forth and so on. But then verse, 30, verse 16 says, in the same way, let your light shine mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. men, yeah. that they may they see your, your good, good deeds and praise mm -hmm. your Father in heaven. Yes. I like that. Let yes. your light so shine mm -hmm. that they will see you and think of him. God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. When people see us, do they think of God? Do they think of Jesus when they see us? Let mm -hmm. your light so shine that when they see you, they'll think of me. That's what Jesus mm -hmm. is saying. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's so, really, really There's really a hard. lot of people that want to be the center of attention. They want <laughs> yeah. everybody to see their good look, their good works. It works. Yeah. But that's not well, the idea here. Exactly. Well, of course, the, the, the motive has to be love for it to so, be acceptable. Yeah, um, exactly. So when you do your good works are for a reason. So we're good works. So when they see us in our good works, they will be thinking that not us, not of us, but of Jesus, and God Amen. himself. Amen. Because we are moons. We're just reflecting the light. Exactly. Because uh, like the example that that Jack gave, I, I don't remember who he said, gave somebody a Bible study when they looked at the church. Mm -hmm. that, I think that's one practical way of being 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 the light or yeah. the reflector of the light exactly. and helping like, people uh, who are in need. Yeah. yeah. And I, can I most... put in a commercial here? Uh -huh. yes, sure. I think one of the best one of the best lights we have in the church is the uh, feeding ministry of the unsheltered. Um, that is the person to person. Yeah help and blessing to people and, and and they can't help but see a light there you know yeah. and and the people work so hard to put on you know the best things the best food the the, the in, in the right way i know they are all hard workers on there and i really really appreciate the ministry they do yeah that, that's one example yeah because it's yeah. not just food that's being given it's also that's like right a, no not, not just food. clothing and prayer absolutely just friendship just just friendship. somebody yeah. notice them the human touch <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. it also reminds me betty of the uh visiting of the shut-ins ministry yes yes exactly. yes the, the same thing mm -hmm. every time that we go and we're there you see the the ones that are that you know we're we're visiting certain ones and you see the light come on in their eyes mm. but that mm. also reflects back to us and gives us encouragement so it it's it's a it's almost a continual thing that keeps giving and giving and giving and giving mm. anything else this so is like in those yeah. in the old days the light on the hill was for what reason for people to find the way so us being the That's light good. of the world is to help people find the way good. excellent excellent lighthouse exactly yeah. lighthouse. <laughs> the lighthouse yeah. and, Absolutely. And, and just one more thing I, i'm just remembering this song that i used to hear sung in church 
um, many years ago. I don't, I don't hear it much anymore. Um, let your lower lights be burning. Oh, yes. Yes. The beam across the way. Some poor yes, fainting, yes. struggling seamen. Yeah, you may rescue you may yes. save. And they say that the lower lights are the little things that you do to reach out to people who are, who are in need. Right. So. You know, I, I also think something just struck me about the lower lights. The, the sailors on the ocean can't see those lights that go off above. It's the lower lights. Ah, mm -hmm. I never thought about that. But thank you, Christine, for bringing that up. I just um, remember this. Yes, that, that's uh, an old hymn, but it's a good hymn. Yeah, it's a good it message, a good story. It is. Okay, we're we're getting close on time. I did want to uh, just expand a little bit more. I went to the commentary, and uh, I I found something that I'd just like to share. We've we've talked a lot about it ourselves, but uh, this is about verse seventeen. Oh, Nothing. Which, which is, chapter? Secret. Eight. Of of uh, Mark, Luke. It's Luke eight six uh, six seventeen. Okay. Luke eight seventeen. Where where it was talking, we were talking about that quite a bit. The lesson Christ here draws from the par parable of the lamp and that lampstand differs from that given in regard to the same theme in the Sermon on the Mount. It's in the Sermon on the Mount, but it's a little different twist here than it is in the Sermon on the Mount. Here, Christ comes as the bearer of the light of truth to dispel darkness. It's, it's like you open the Bible and it seems like every day I'm finding things as we're studying our lesson, as we're listening uh, to readings of different books, uh, things just jump into my mind that they wouldn't be there if I wasn't looking. And I would, I would uh, recommend any kind of reading that you can do from Spirit of Prophecy, from the Bible, from uh, any, any of our good and great writers is going to make an impression upon you. Uh, it dispels the darkness from the minds of men concerning God and the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So the light that's coming from Christ is helping to dispel all of those things. And we're not going to get off on this offshoot or off on this offshoot or this thing. We're going to be looking and watching for what God has for us. There is no mystery or secret of importance to salvation that will be concealed from those who take heed how they hear. Mm. That's amazing. I'm not sure who wrote that, but they really took that for me, that verse mm -hmm. and completely changed it. It's not something to be worried about. This is something to encourage us. What a, what, it, it never ceases to amaze me, and I, I, I hope you are feeling the same way, that as, as we read things we have gone over and over and over, there are new things that come to us, new truths, new light. Uh, it's inexhaustible. It's incredible. And it has to be, it, this is one of the greatest things to me that proves mm -hmm. that God is God, and Christ came and died for us because he is true and faithful. He has sent these things to us for us to be ready when he comes in the clouds. Amen. Any last thoughts of anyone about the light? Does anybody ever remember that chorus that uh, uh, we used to sing uh, years ago? Um, Go light your candle. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, how I used to go? Go light your world. Go light your world. Light, light your light candle. Your Hold up your candle. Your go light your world. Yes. There is a, how does it, I forgot how, but, but it was, a, it had a beautiful message to it. Yes. yes. Well, I'm glad yeah. it's to sing it. We are, we are candles. And yeah. Question is, is our candle, has it been lit? 
<laughs> yeah. There's a candle in every soul. Some bright right. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are some fancy, fancy candles that we might put money into and just have them sitting around as ornaments. I wonder <laughs> you know, how often we think of ourselves that way. Yeah. You know? I remember my sister good unless we're shining. We've got to shine. Oh, I, I, went, I, I can't. I can't light that one. That one's too pretty. That one's too. <laughs> well, like you were saying, Jack, in the darkness, where if you've been to that cave uh, uh, in Kentucky, what was the name of that cave again? Mammoth. Uh, Mammoth Cave. Like you say, when they turn off the lights in there, it's pitch black. But it just takes one person to light a little candle, not a candle, but just a match. Just yeah, a, match. a match. Yes. And hold it up. It's an yes. amazing thing how that little match yes. can really, you know, uh, dispel much of the darkness around there. Mm -hmm. the, the science of light is incredible. God mm -hmm. created something that scientists are still marveling about. Mm -hmm. Light itself. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Would you, yeah. like to, would you like to hear the lyrics, some of the lyrics to that song? <laughs> Sure. Oh, I that? might have known you would have looked at it. Of course. <laughs> but the chorus, the cho I'm not going to sing it, but the chorus says, so carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the home hopeless, deceived and poor. Wow. Hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle, go light your world. Oh, wow. Isn't that neat? Nice, nice. That, that should be our, our prayer every day. Mm -hmm. Make me a light that I can shine for Jesus. Mm. I know that was something we learned in Sabbath school, but we need to relearn it now as adults. Mm -hmm. Just a little light of mine. Yeah. Well, I'm thankful for all of the insights that you have brought to us on these verses. It's, it's really encouraged me. Thank you so much. Let's bow our heads as we close tonight. Heavenly Father, Make us lights. Give us the light that we need so that we can shine for you and shine to others. That's why we are here on our little hill in Apopka, showing the light that you have given to us and sharing it with our world. Mm -hmm. Be with us now, we pray, as we go about our rest of our evening. In Jesus' name. We pray, amen. 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 And like Pastor James would say, go be the church. Go, go, light, the, go, light, yeah. the, light, go light the church. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Good night. Don't hide your candle. Don't hide your light. Go light the candles. Yeah. You know, there's one thing I haven't done yet. Oh. I haven't gone by the, by the church at night. At night? When the lights were on. Oh. I, I want to, I want to, I think I'm going to go over, turn on the lights when it's dark and drive by just to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. There, well, there was a plan uh, to have some lights from outside, like we used to have that shown up on the cross. And uh, I just wonder if we need to do that again so that people can. Oh, yes. Hey, you know, you could you take a picture of that, Jack, and then give it to the pastor and say, uh, this is what we're like. He says, you can't, you, you know, we're a city on a hill. We're lighting up this community. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Yes. It's, it, it's amazing okay. to look at it from the road, but it's yeah. also amazing to look out from oh. the views. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it, though? I mean, it, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's, it, to me, it's a window that's ever changing. Yeah. The clouds yeah. are floating by. The yeah. birds are flying uh -huh. by. Nice. If it's raining, the raindrops are coming down. You can see that little retention pond. It looks pretty. It looks like a pretty yeah. lake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm seeing <laughs> some people said, I didn't know that was there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. A lot of scenery. Live. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll see everybody Sabbath. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Good night. Have a good evening. Bye. 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 Bye.